Hey, Tommy boy, how's that arm doing? I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that last win against the Eagles, that was phenomenal. You guys played great. So check it out, I'm here in Tampa Bay looking for some opportunities. I know you're in football, you're not in the film world, but I figured since I'm really trying to get into one of these Marvel movies, you know, you have a great trainer, the plyometrics, you know, you're getting your muscles ready, getting them toned, getting them ready to take hits. So I figured, hey, if I want to be a Marvel superhero, I gotta have some plyometrics done to me by Alfonso, I think that's the guy's name. Yep, I read TB12, good, good, good book, good book. I didn't look at the recipes too much, but you know, one day, one day I will. <laughs> so, you know, I was, I was thinking, you know, between now and, uh, and Super Bowl, uh, maybe you have some time to meet up with me and uh, Alfonso and, uh, you know, do some work on me. Yeah, you're right. I, I, yes, I am looking for a freebie. I mean, I am a starving actor, so I figured maybe you take some pity on me or some charity. I don't mind taking charity. I am all welcome to the charity. Maybe in the off season? Okay, I mean, I could, I could potentially do that. I mean, I live up in Atlanta, so are you willing to commute up to Atlanta? No, you're not. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Seven-time Super Bowl champion ring winner. Uh, what, you're, you're too good to fly up from Tampa Bay, from Tampa Bay, to, to help a, a starving actor out? You know what? I don't want you to have this opportunity to train me. So guess what? Hope, hope you win. Because, you know, it's just, a, it's just the same old story playing itself out. So, you take care. <laughs> Ugh, I shouldn't have done that. Hi, my name is Gabriel Manick. I'm an actor, and I'm starving. Well, John, uh, it's been a very long day. Long, fun day. Yeah, how are you feeling? Tired. But Tired. Feeling good it's, a, it's a good word for, <laughs> for the day for sure. It's been so full, but we figured since we're right by Hidden Springs, well, we were at Hidden Springs and Armature Works is you know, seven minute walk, might as well do some food reviews here. So there's a place in here, by the way, what is the place called? Heights, Heights Public Market? Public Heights Market. Public Heights, but it's, but it's Armature Works. But it's Armature Works. It's really strange. I think Armature Works is a better name. It's just a cool, unique name. Well, a, a really cool fact, apparently, the people that built this place were very inspired by Pond City Market, which is from Atlanta. Of course, of course Atlanta inspires this, which I think is pretty cool. We've got some shots in there, it's, it looks really neat. So we went to a place called Empamamas, which if you know me, you know I love puns. Empamamas is a great pun on empanadas. And I think I made a video on TikTok where I'm like, Empamamas, how about Empapapas? You know, it's 2021, it's about time we stand for our rights. I mean, this is ridiculous. 2021, Edamame, why not Edapape? Come on, wake up people. Come on, it's 2022. Gotta get, gotta get PC here. PC <laughs> the PC principles. That's a South Park re reference. So they have three different empanadas. They've got the the Tampa Girl, which I'm really excited to see what a Tampa Girl is like. Um, we've got the cheeseburger in Paradise, and then the Buffalo Buffalo Soldier. Buffalo Soldier. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna start out with, I got the Tampa Girl and the Cheeseburger in Paradise. So, these things are huge. They're $6 each. Like, that is big. That is a big empanada. I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna be hot. I feel like I'm gonna burn my tongue or something. All right, well, first spice is the one that counts when you're starving. Wow. Okay. I should have mentioned, the Tampa Girl is basically a Cuban sandwich empanada. Shh. It's all good. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right. 
So this is pretty good so far. Lots of ham, got some mustard, a little bit of cheese. It's tasting pretty good so far. Oh, man. Get, get herself a new thing. Big man, big man. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we, re we, got, we got a recording of the recording. Pretty good. Just uh, having a empanada, filming a review about it. Now what? We're not like big time or anything like that. They don't want anything with Armature Works included in it at all. It's one of those. Uh, they don't want the name Armature Works. They don't want any. They don't want building in the background. They don't want any sort of anything without their permission because they, they, they're very picky on what they allow. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Well, well, I'm just curious. Have you had the empanadas though? That I don't eat meat. You don't eat meat. Oh, shit. I've had their okay. uh, quesadillas. They're good though. Oh yeah. So are their fries. The their fries are good. Dude, those fries are really good. They're kind of like the, what is it, like Jersey Shore fries? I've never had those. Well, uh, I guess like crinkle cut. Oh. What, what would you give the fries there? Like a, like an eight? Uh, I think it's eight like a nine. They a had nine? The to mine. They had the cheese on yours? Yeah. That's really cool. Well, damn, that, that's a shame. But what you guys can do. So uh, we got kicked out from a um, hundred feet over there. You see, uh, it's right over there. It's uh, right over there. So, so now we can't get caught. How funny is that, that I got the security guard to be like, hey, what would you give the fries here? <laughs> it's like, all right, if you're gonna kick me out, I'm, I'm definitely taking you with me. So, look, Armature Works, look, I, I love this place. It's not that the place sucks, that kind of sucked, but look, we're still making, we're adapting over here. That's what you do in life. You adapt, you can't get pissed. You use the moment how it comes, and you take it, and I'm just saying words, and hopefully it sounds inspiring. So, I'm having the empanada here. This is a Cuban, and I think it's really good. Emp Empamamas, this does not hurt your score. Oh, so good. Empanada, Empamamas. Tampa girl, girl, you get in an 8-7. 8-7 on this, because this is really good. Alright. <laughs> I gotta stop, uh, like, breathing my food. Alright. So, number two. Let me finish the first one. So, cheeseburger in paradise. I mean, I'm burgers are great, so an empanada burger? Okay. It's an empanada burger. Cheese, onions, pickles, pickles. This is like phenomenal. This is so freaking good. It's literally a burger in an empanada. I think I have empanada on my face. I know. All right, this is really, this is pretty good. I don't know which one's better. This one, hmm. Oh. The breading is really thin. It's not hard crust. It's, oh, this is really, really good. That Cuban was just, I mean, traditional Cuban. This cheeseburger in paradise, Mm. Oh man. In fact, I'm, I'm like, do I rate it as a burger or as a panada? Definitely an empanada. This is really good. I'm gonna go eight nine. I'm gonna go eight nine on the cheeseburger in paradise. Hey, what happened over there with the security guard? Hey, he said, please don't include it. Oh, you know I'm including it. Because that's 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 gold. That's gold, Jerry! Seinfeld reference. Um, that was phenomenal. And in life, you gotta adapt. You gotta take what comes. Like I said. So, thank you very much, Armature Works. Thank you that much more, much. That much more, much. 
to Empamamas. Keep making that good food. We'll see you on the next review.